Hi again, class. Mac Engel here for the Fort Worth Star Telegram for another award winning edition of the Mac Attack. Rather than jump into conventional sports, I'm here to tell you I'm on an exciting project. I'm here at the Texas Mexican border. This is where phase two of the Trump wall continues to be built. Right behind me, they're going to destroy this mountain to put in a casino, hotel, golf course, uh, what else? A gap and a Starbucks. I'm kidding, of course. I'm actually not at the Texas-Mexican border. This is not where the Trump wall is going to go up. Mexico won't be paying for it, but U.S. taxpayers will. I'm actually in West Phoenix, about 20 miles due west, give or take, of the Texas Ranger Spring Training Facility in Surprise, Arizona. I can't tell you the name of this park because I've already forgotten it, but it's a neat place to go. On also a side note, one of the many criticisms that, that has been levied at me about these videos is that, quote, they're unwatchable. And B, Mac, your nose is bigger than my house. All that being said, I've decided to address your concerns by trying to dress a little bit more professional and looking like a reporter in the field. Hence the reason I'm carrying two pens, multiple press credentials, uh, a collared shirt with the collar up, slick back hair, and a notebook with words written in them. Now, I'm not here to talk about the Texas Rangers just yet. However, I'm here to celebrate the greatness of the Dallas Cowboys 2016 free agency where they've done almost nothing. Kids, this is what you want them to do. This is the time of year where smart people who run football teams decide collectively we're going to turn off our brains and just throw money at guys, even though there is no statistical evidence to suggest that if you bury players in money, it will yield positive results and or pro, pro Bowl appearances. In fact, usually the opposite happens. The Cowboys finally are following the philosophy of the Baltimore Ravens, the New England Patriots, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and a handful of other teams, and have said, to heck with free agency, we're going to the draft. And that's fantastic if we had the faith that this team could nail the draft consistently. The real problem with the Dallas Cowboys isn't the fact that they bypassed free agency, which is a good thing. The scariest part is that this team isn't built entirely around fragile guys. Tony Romo could get hurt playing putt-putt golf. Des Bryant is one of these guys that we just have to pray as a thoroughbred, nothing happens. And the other guy that this defense is built around is Sean Lee, who might be good for 10 to 12 games a year. The Cowboys should celebrate the fact that they didn't spend any dumb money so far in free agency, and it looks like we're in the clear. However, the scariest part is coming up. That's the draft and the fourth overall pick. Guys, get ready. You never know when Jerry could just clear the room.